Welcome to this edition of DIY 3D Tech. This episode we're out in the garage because uh, this box is too big and heavy to lug in. This is about 80 pounds. This is part of the uh, 3040 which I ordered. So we're going to go through a bit of an unboxing. We're going to do it out here in the garage for this piece. Then we'll take it into the house and then there's a second box which weighs probably about 40 or 50 pounds that, that has the fourth access that has the uh, power supply and the other components in it and uh, we'll unbox that separately and take a look at uh, the results. So let's go ahead um, again this is a pretty heavy box it's a little bit over 80 pounds um, so I'm kind of curious to see <coughs> how this is all boxed up. So this is rather interesting. I'm gonna, uh, I, I kind of fast forward to this part. It's kind of interesting that, the, that to uh, hold this in place, they have this open box down here, this uh, plywood box. It's kind of interesting. Probably zip or something. So as you can see, it's pretty well packed with this foam foam that's fitted to the unit. Uh, whew. Gotta tell you, this is probably a two-person job getting this out. So uh, wasn't easy, but so again, more form-fitted pieces. Very well packaged. No question. And even in the back, they had formed a wood box to go around the motors to protect the motor. But uh, this is basically what it looks like. Now, one of the things that I've noticed in the uh, newer versions of these Chinese CNC's is they've gone away from the the, the crappy uh, anodized finish to a powder coated finish so this is powder coated in like an olive green now I have gone for the uh, 800 kW uh, no not the 800 kW that would be big wouldn't it the 800 watt water cooled motor so you can see the lines there and everything that was one of the bigger things also I went with the 3040 instead of the 3020. I went back and forth quite a bit between the two. Um, a similar 3020 with an 800 watt, 800 watt motor was about $200, roughly $200, $210 less than I paid for this. Yes, because it was around six, 670, 680, and this was about 888. So. Uh, a little more than $200 difference. Same basic motors and everything as the uh, 3020 has. However, obviously twice the the uh, the bed width, so which was important in, in the 20. And I sort of went back and forth, but I, because I wanted to be able to um, do at least 12 by 12, and the 20, the 3020 couldn't do 12 by 12 material. And this I can put a complete 12 by 12 sheet on here and, and, and machine it. Um, I also went back and forth between the open bills in this uh, to, to determine which one I should go with. And at the end of the day, for, for really cheaper money, a little bit smaller area, but cheaper money, plus fully assembled, nicer spindle, everything, 
I, I could buy this. So I just couldn't justify going with the open build, like for example, ox or plate cutter or something like that. Also, when I looked at like the shape Ocos and all that, again, this, this was a far better price for the money. So I really couldn't pass it up for the size. And, and as you can see, and we'll take a look at it when we get into the shop, uh, it really is a nice looking unit. Now, I've heard some things, the wiring's bad, blah, blah, blah. All that's not major and, and can be fixed well within this price envelope and still be far cheaper than the other pieces. Um, you know, because really as this goes, it's really about the unit itself. Also, I looked at buying one without it, the steppers at all and using my existing steppers. It was cheaper to buy it with the steppers at the end of the day because the base 3040 that you can buy with no motors, no spindle is about 450, 500 bucks. So, you know, that's kind of crazy is I got all the motors, all the electronics, the spindle, everything for $888 shipped to me as it sits here on the floor. I mean, I just couldn't beat that deal. So anyways, I think I ram rambled enough. Let's go ahead, let's take this down into the basement shop and then we'll check out the other box. Okay, so we wrestled the uh, 3040 down to the shop area. So uh, uh, whew, uh, definitely easy as a two-man project. One person can do it. Again, it weighs about 80 pounds. So. Uh, I uh, just have to watch some of the edges. Sorry for bumping. It's a little sharp. But what, one of the things I wanted to do is kind of show it a little bit side by side with the, the probiotic. So, because the probiotic has a cut area of about 16 by, by a little short of 26, about 25 and a half. Now, you, do, you don't obviously get that whole dimension because the... Uh, the tool here isn't going to go all the way to the back or to complete either size. Um, so it's more of about an 18 by 20 envelope. So uh, let's kind of cut over to the 3040 and let's take a closer look. So one of the things that I do want to do with this, um, do want to do, that doesn't sound right. However, one of the things I want to do with this, this unboxing, share a little bit more information about the unit because when I was kicking around buying one, there was kind of a lack of really good information. There's a lot of unboxings on the, the internet for these various CNC's, of course, like most other things. However, it really didn't give me a lot of information. And one of the things that I was really interested in is how big is the bed. So it, it kind of gives you dimensions, but I wanted somebody to really measure it. So I've got, the bed is, is uh, about 14 and a quarter inches from aluminum extrusion, extrusion to end of extrusion. And this opening is about, hmm, about 15 and 3 eighths roughly. The bed lengthwise is about 21 and 3 quarters. So about 55 millimeters long, is that, am I reading right, 40, 55, yeah, about 55 millimeters long for my metric friends by about 36, um, I should say, sorry, centimeters, 36 centimeters, so about 360 uh, millimeters, see I'll get the metric stuff right sooner or later by about 550 millimeters or 55 centimeters. Uh, also, the it's, it's pretty close to the bottom, so I'm not gonna call it absolute. However, we're at about three inches of Z travel here. Um, it'd probably be pretty close to about three inches of Z travel the way it looks, or about um, 7.5 centimeters, about 75 centimeters. Uh, of, of Z travel. So, and again, like with the like with the the probiotic, you're not you're not you're not going to get all the way to the back because of the gantry, although it has less of a steep gantry on the side, as well as um, you know you're not going to get fully side to side. I like this protective sheet metal. This really looks attractive, uh, covering the um, which are oily in the back, um, covering the linear rails in the back. So. Uh, all in all, it really looks nicely put together. I also like, yeah, I don't know if you can see them in the frame, but you probably saw them 
when I was unboxing it. It has adjustable rubber feet, um, eighth inch collet for the spindle, really beefy, nice looking uh, spindle, uh, obviously water tubes, kind of like a polypropylene tube or something that uh, connects in there with the collet. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is now I have two laser cutters plus this which is water cooled. I'm thinking about uh, installing a, uh, a chiller in my workshop and, and kind of plumbing with quick quick release couplers. Uh, so in the future when I add a water cooled device, you know, I don't have to have three separate water cooling uh, setups. So something I'm thinking about in the future because one of the things I'm thinking about in the future is building also a studio attached to the shop area uh, a bit. So. But uh, you'll see about that in future projects. So anyways, I, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, because the unboxing of this took so long, I'm going to break this into two pieces. So I'll unbox the fourth axis and the electronics and everything in a separate part two unboxing uh, video. Uh, so I can spend a bit of time on that. And if you've got any specific questions, you know, I'll put links to this below on eBay where I got it from. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Oh, the other thing I want to mention is the table itself. This table is actually three pieces, so this is not one big long extrusion. This is uh, three pieces which are which are butted together. So just as an FYI, I had kind of wondered about that myself. And you can kind of see the gap here is thinner and it runs out to the back. So I'm sure that this is not um, perfectly true. So. Um, uh, part of the thing that I, I probably will build in the future is, is some kind of mechanism uh, to true this up because one of the things I want to do with this is uh, uh, machine aluminum. So, and this is one of the reasons I bought the heavier, uh, you know, I went with the all aluminum versus the, you know, basically MDF probiotic I have over there. So, anyways, again, if you've got questions, you're thinking about one of these, you want to know what I think. Hey, hit me up in the comments below. Keep a watch out for the second on part two of the unboxing video where we get to the electronics and fourth axis. Because uh, I do want to talk about the fourth axis a bit. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.